Does your child feel inferior or powerless? Does he easily give up? Is he scared to express his opinion, but prefers to follow others? Is he afraid to try new things even if you offer to help him? Is he afraid to interact with others? If yes, then all these are signs that he has low self-esteem and low confidence. And self-esteem and self-confidence are critical skills for kids to, to develop because um, without self-esteem, without confidence, you can be happy, you can be successful. As parents, I'm sure we all want our children to become confident, to become happy and successful. So is there anything that you can do to help your child? Yes, it is. And I'm going to share with you what you can do. But first of all, let me tell you that you are not the only parent that goes through this with his child. Now, let's go into the things that you can do. Let me share with you the things that you can do. First of all, teach your child how to handle negative feedback. Children with low self-esteem, with low confidence, they tend to take criticism and feedback personally. Now, no one likes uh, criticism. And for a child, it can be more difficult to deal with. That's why it is important to help them uh, deal with negative criticism. So explain to the child that when someone criticizes us, we need to check. We need to check if that person is right or not. Now, if that person it is right, then what we need to do is to uh, fix if we can and uh, let it go. So sometimes criticism can be good. If that person is not right, then why bother? Another idea is to teach your child how to manage fear. We need to teach this because fear kills confidence. Learning move through fear will help uh, your child go after his goals, after the things that he will love to do. So share with your child one of your fears and explain how you overcome it. Children love to hear that someone close to them has fears as well. Now, another thing that you can do to help your child uh, conquer his fear is to um, gently expose the child to that fear. And by doing so, gradually the fear will decrease. But with time, with practice and patience. Another idea is to teach how to manage mistakes. If the child makes a mistake, do not discourage him, do not criticize him. It is enough that he blames himself for that mistake. So, when the child makes a mistake, explain that mistakes are important for learning, for growing. Mistakes are not the end of the world. If your child refuses to do a task by saying, no, I can't do it, I don't know how to do it, explain that it's not a shame to not know certain things and then teach the child why the child how to do it. When the child learns uh, how to manage mistakes, he will be more likely to take new risks, to try new things. Another thing that you can do is to give opportunities to practice success. The more he will experience success, the more he will believe in his abilities. So find out what your child is good at and always praise his um, ability, even for uh, doing small uh, things. This will help the child feel good about himself. Also try to give your child more things to do in the house, in the garden, give plenty of opportunities to try new activities, to see new people, uh, new places. The more uh, their uh, comfort zone expands, the better they will handle worry situation in the future. And the last uh, idea, but the most important one, it is to teach your child about positive self-talk. Self-talk refers to what we say to ourselves, both out loud, or through our thoughts. Self-talk is one of the strongest indicators of a person's low self-esteem and low confidence because the way we talk to ourselves influences our emotions, our uh, actions. Um, so for example, uh, if you say, I can't do it, I'm going to fail, they won't like me, uh, I don't think it's going to push you to take any action. It, it, no, this um, uh, the way you, um, you talk to yourself, if it's negative, will only create uh, self-doubt. But if you say, well, I'm going to give a try, I will do my best, um, or I can't do it, your confidence will boost, isn't it? 
So a good time to teach uh, kids about positive self-talk, it is when you hear your child saying, I can't do this. Um, another good time, it is when the child compares to uh, himself to another person and, and that comparison puts him, him down. So for example, when the child says, um, Ashling always uh, wins, she's better than me. Teach um, the child that what he says to himself, it is more important than what others uh, say because uh, explain to the child what you say to yourself will create an emotion and based on that emotion, you are either going to take action or don't. You see, it doesn't matter how much we love our children or how much time we spend with our children. This won't bring them self-esteem and self-confidence, but what we can do is to develop, uh, develop it in themselves. And we need to help them develop uh, confidence in themselves because um, when you are more confident, when you have high self-esteem, um, you are more, uh, you are less anxious, um, you have better uh, relationships, um, you are more resilient, you face uh, easily stress, challenges, change, uh, and you bounce back um, more uh, quickly. I hope this idea will help you. Uh, if yes, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you very much for watching and uh, I really, really appreciate your time. Bye!